Over the course of this series, we've talked about how we can use GitHub to back up our software, as well as some of the benefits of doing so. GitHub is probably the most popular of all of the Git-based services which allow you to manage your software, but there are alternatives that you can consider. For example, probably one of the biggest competitors to GitHub is GitLab, which is a very similar service to GitHub, although not quite as popular with the open source community as GitHub. Bitbucket is an alternative again, and it allows you to use both Git as well as other code management tools. For example here you can see that it's talking about Mercurial. As great as all of these services are, however, it must be noted that it must be noted that you don't actually need any of these services at all. Git in itself is a distributed versioning control system, which means that a central server isn't actually required. It just makes things a whole lot easier if you're working in Teams. The alternative is to use Git on each individual client machine. And instead of having a central repository which is always up to date, each individual client will be responsible for ensuring that their version is the most recent. Which might be okay when you're working with one or two people, but any more than two developers in a team, and the entire process becomes a whole lot more work than it's worth. Over the course of this series we've covered the vast majority of the functionality of Git, specifically the GitHub flavour of Git. And although there are minor tweaks in the functionality between different flavours of Git, the core functionality and the core features are the same. So for example in the previous video where we were talking about using different clients, the vast majority of different clients can be used on any of the other alternative services, with the only exception being the GitHub Windows client, which is obviously specifically built for GitHub. This video also brings to an end this series. There are more features that Git is capable of performing, for example hooks which allow you to perform certain actions whenever you actually commit code for example. But for the most part we have covered the vast majority of especially the most common functions. So make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed or found this series useful.